Sony seems to be preparing yet another leap forward in the world of high-resolution photography. According to growing speculation and credible leaks, the next addition to the company's popular alpha lineup, the Sony A7R Vi, is rumored to include an astonishing 80-megapixel full-frame Exmor or CMOS sensor. If this holds true, it would mark one of the biggest sensor upgrades in the company's full-frame mirrorless history, significantly raising the bar for resolution and detail. While Sony has not officially confirmed anything yet, the buzz among the photography community is hard to ignore. For professionals and enthusiasts who prioritize maximum image quality, clarity, and creative flexibility, the A7R Vi might become the Jumping from 61MP to 80MP may not sound like much on paper to casual users, but in professional circles, this is a massive leap. Higher resolution allows for unprecedented cropping flexibility while preserving fine detail, which is crucial for commercial, landscape, studio, and fashion photographers. It enables the production of massive prints without noticeable image degradation and enhances post-processing options, such as reframing or selective zooming, without the image falling apart. In essence, more megapixels translate to more possibilities. Technologically, Sony already has the capacity to produce such a sensor. As Peta Pixel pointed out, Sony could theoretically scale up its existing 40MP APS-C sensor, used in some Fujifilm models, to create a full-frame sensor in the 90MP range. So an 80MP sensor is not only feasible but likely already in development or testing. The only major concern here is sensor readout speed. With that many pixels, capturing data quickly becomes more difficult. However, if the A7R Vi is primarily aimed at stills photographers, some compromises in speed may be acceptable in exchange for unmatched resolution. If the current leaks and industry chatter prove accurate, the Sony A7R Vi will bring more than just a higher resolution sensor. The camera is expected to feature a new 80-megapixel full-frame Exmor or CMOS sensor paired with Sony's powerful Bion's XR image processor and dual AI processing units. This combination should ensure smooth operation even when dealing with massive image files, offering improved processing speeds, better noise control, and advanced autofocus capabilities. Another important upgrade might come in the form of in-body image stabilization. Reports suggest that Sony could push the stabilization performance up to 8.5 stops, which would be invaluable for handheld shooting, especially given the higher risk of motion blur at 80 MP. When working at such resolutions, even the slightest camera shake can lead to detail loss, so enhanced stabilization could be a key factor in the camera's usability in real-world conditions. Autofocus is also expected to take a leap forward. Sony may incorporate an AI-driven real-time subject tracking system that improves upon the already impressive capabilities of the A7RV. The goal would be to ensure that even in fast-paced or unpredictable environments, the camera can reliably maintain focus on eyes, faces, animals, vehicles, or whatever the subject may be. Video capabilities also seem to be getting a major overhaul. Despite the A7R line being primarily known for still photography, the A7R Vi is rumored to include support for 8K video at 30p or even 60p, 4K at 120p, and Full HD up to 240p. These features would likely be complemented by 10-bit internal recording, with options for 16-bit RAW output via HDMI, and supported color profiles like S-Log3 and S-Cinetone. This would make the A7R Vi not just a top-tier stills camera, but also a serious hybrid video tool for filmmakers and content creators who want both high-resolution photography and cinematic quality video in one body. As for usability enhancements, the A7R Vi may feature a 9.44 million dot electronic viewfinder with a 120Hz refresh rate, providing an incredibly smooth and detailed live preview. A 3.2-inch 4-axis multi-angle LCD touchscreen is also expected, offering greater flexibility for composing shots at difficult angles. For burst shooting, the A7R Vi could offer 12 frames per second with a mechanical shutter and up to 15 FPS electronically, which is impressive given the massive file sizes it will be generating. In terms of storage, dual CF Express Type A SD card slots are anticipated, giving photographers a balance between speed and affordability depending on the media they choose. Given the high resolution files and potential for 8K video, fast storage solutions will be critical for maintaining performance without frustrating buffer delays. If Sony sticks to its typical release cadence, the A7R Vi could be unveiled around November 2025. This timeline would align with the three-year refresh cycle seen in the Alpha R series, giving the A7R V a solid run while providing enough development time to bring the rumored technology to life. 
Furthermore, industry insiders suggest Sony has been working on multiple camera models simultaneously, which could indicate a big product push in late 2025. While most of the attention is currently on the A7R Vi, there are also whispers about other alpha models on the horizon. The Sony A7V has appeared in various wireless certification databases, hinting at a 44MP or 49MP sensor and a hybrid shooter design. This model may be geared toward users who want a balance of resolution and speed, perhaps wedding photographers or photojournalists who shoot a mix of stills and video. Interestingly, there's also chatter about the long-awaited Sony A7S IV, which could mark a huge departure from the series' traditional low-resolution approach. This new model is rumored to feature a 40MP sensor, possibly to support 8K video recording. If true, that would place it in direct competition with Canon's R5 and R5C and would mark a shift in Sony's strategy toward higher resolution video capture across all its alpha lines. If both of these models increase in resolution, Sony will need to ensure that the A7R line remains distinct at the top. That might mean pushing the A7R Vi even further, and perhaps laying the groundwork for a future 100MP model down the road. Despite all the hype, several critical questions remain. Can an 80MP full-frame sensor deliver exceptional dynamic range, low-light performance, and accurate color, hallmarks of the A7R line? That remains to be seen. Rolling shutter performance could also be a concern, especially when using the electronic shutter, since higher pixel counts typically mean slower readout speeds. Sony will need to find a way to balance resolution with responsiveness. Autofocus performance is another area to watch closely. Real-time tracking has been one of Sony's strongest features, but processing 80MP files in real-time puts significant strain on any system. The dual AI processors are expected to help here, but implementation will be key. Thermal performance is also going to be critical. Running high-resolution stills and 8K video simultaneously generates a lot of heat. Sony will have to address heat management creatively, possibly with enhanced heat sinks or better body ventilation, to avoid overheating without significantly increasing the camera size. And finally, pricing will be a major determining factor. If Sony can launch the A7R Vi for under US dollars it could dominate the high-resolution market. But if the price climbs too high, potential buyers might pause and evaluate competing systems, or even medium format options from Fujifilm. Assuming the specs pan out, the A7R Vi is clearly aimed at professional photographers and hybrid shooters who demand top-tier resolution and features. This includes landscape photographers, commercial studio shooters, fine art creators, and even cinematographers who need impeccable detail and color. With 80 megapixels, cutting-edge autofocus, strong video features, and advanced processing, this camera could become a staple in high-end production environments. At the same time, this release could force rivals like Canon and Nikon to accelerate their development of high-resolution full-frame cameras. Canon's rumored R5 Mark II and Nikon Z73 will likely be seen as direct competitors, but Sony's head start in sensor tech and real-time AI processing might give it the edge. The Sony A7R Vi represents more than just another camera release, it signals a shift in what professionals can expect from a full-frame mirrorless body. With rumors pointing to 80MP resolution, enhanced AI processing, powerful video specs, and improved stabilization, this camera could be one of the biggest breakthroughs of 2025. It won't be for everyone, and it certainly won't be cheap, but for those who need the best of the best, the A7R Vi might just be the next essential tool in their kit. We'll be watching closely as more information leaks out. If Sony delivers even half of what's being rumored, the A7R Vi is going to be a headline-making release, and possibly one of the most talked-about cameras of the year.